It was a hot early evening in the city of Los Angeles as the Santa Margarita Eagles traveled north to play the Royal Cubs, a school that was founded in 1865. It has plenty of tradition in the history of playing the Eagles as the series was tied at three apiece. In the locker room, the Eagles were focused, time to get the job done. The coaches outside were hand in hand in prayer. Both coaches saying and strong and thinking, thinking how they need to think to, to, to put their teams in the best situations to win. It was a time for week two of the high school football season to begin. Malone Mataele gets the Eagles jacked up and ready to play. Two teams that very much respect one another. On the Eagles' first series, they wasted little time in marching down the field, capping off the drive with a Josiah Norwood pass to Jake Thomas as the Eagles led seven to nothing. On the other side of the ball, the Eagles' defense has been spectacular. Quentin Buckman steps in, AKA Q. He goes all the way for the pick six, and the Eagles led 14 to nothing. Happy to highlight more of the Eagles' defense. John McCartan comes up with a great play on the quarterback as he slams into the turf. Moments later, the quarterback is flushed out of the pocket, nowhere to go. Jake Delaney is right there to make the tackle. As twilight started to settle in, so did the Eagle fans after making the long trek up from South Orange County. Chad Maggiar goes in for a touchdown. Chad has been nothing short of spectacular this season so far. The Eagles led 21 to nothing. 14 rushes on 100 yards, averaging 7.1 yards a carry. The Eagles defense were back at it again as Jake Delaney makes the initial hit. And then it would be a nice pass from Josiah Norwood to Chad Magyar. 28 to nothing. Josiah Norwood almost perfect on this night, going across the middle to Magyar. This next play is something you just can't teach. Malone Mataele stops dead in his tracks, gets his jersey pulled out from underneath his shoulder pads, and then he takes off, seeing nothing but green turf in front of him as he goes all the way for the touchdown. That made it 35 to nothing. Once again, ground level. You'll see him almost get pulled down. He stays on his feet, shifts directions, outruns everybody to the end zone. And this is a play Malone expects himself to make. Unbelievable touchdown. 35 to nothing, uh -huh. Eagles. And look who is there to greet him, Josiah Norwood. Caden Fitch comes up out of his position, eyes the quarterback in on the sack. Spectacular play. The Eagles defense shining as bright as the lights over Los Angeles. Here once again, Jake Delaney comes in and gets to the quarterback. Somehow Jake gets by everybody on almost every play. Here he gets to the quarterback once again. The Eagles defense shined on this night as did their offense. Credit the coaching staff for getting the boys ready to play in week number two. Noah Barrett would finish off with an exclamation mark for the defense and for the Eagles as they go on to win in week number two of the high school football season by the score of 35 to nothing. After the game, I had an opportunity to talk to senior Malone Mataele. Malone, how fun was that? It looked like you were having a great time tonight. Definitely, it was fun to get out here with my guys and compete. You know, it's my senior year, so you know, every game uh, counts. So you came out with a little bit of determination. You started out in the locker room and you carried it onto the football field. Tell me about that. Um, you know, I just try to come out, you know, in my opinion, warm-ups were kind of flat. So I just try to make sure my guys are ready to go. Um, you know, coming on the field, you know, our play uh, spoke for itself. I know defense creates offense, but you guys created a lot of your own offense tonight. Tell me about that. Um, I think it's just we got a lot of guys that can extend plays, you know, Josiah Nord being one of them. Chad Magyar, we got a lot of guys that can just turn uh, nothing into something. So that goes a long way for the offense. Talk about the defense, two straight games, two straight shutouts. Um, you know, our defense is full of dogs. You know, all those guys swarm to the ball, they get after it. And, uh, you know, I think looking forward in the season, those guys will help us out a lot. In the preseason, the word is this is everyone else's Super Bowl when they play you. Every week it's going to get more difficult. Your thoughts about that? Um, I just think we ought to take it one game at a time. And, you know, preparation leads to confidence, and confidence leads to victory. Great job. Appreciate it. Quarterback Josiah Norwood has settled in rather nicely. He was 13 of 21 for 158 yards and two touchdowns. Josiah, two weeks into the season and you already look comfortable in this offense. Tell me about that. Um, I mean, before the season, we do a lot of preparing for the season and we have some great coaches around us and it really helps us uh, get ready for the season. And uh, it's great to just be efficient with the ball 
and we, we have a great group of O-line and we have some great receivers with us and they're really helping us out and Chad, when he's just pounding like that, that just helps as well too. Yeah, it looked like that nobody wanted a piece of Chad in the end of that yeah. second quarter. Your thoughts, knowing that you can give him the ball? I mean, it's just great to have a ground and pound offense where we could, we could run the ball at any time we could pass the ball to and go over, over the top of them too because we got great weapons like Malone and Nenad and Ebok and Mark Eaton. We got a bunch of weapons out there, so it really, it really helps us. Josiah, I noticed that you didn't throw a lot of deep passes tonight by design. Um, our, our offense is designed so that uh, we can just be efficient with the ball, so we want to get high percentage passes in. But I mean, we, we, have, we have a lot of things in our bag that we could just bring out at any time. So I mean, it's going to work well for us this year. You really dazzled us with your feet tonight, getting out of some sticky situations. Tell me about your vision looking downfield. Um, I always want to keep. My, I was I was always taught to keep my eyes downfield when I scramble. So that's always what I want to do. And uh, if I can make a play at, by any means possible, it always helps. How fun is this? It's awesome. It's awesome. It really is. Congratulations on the win. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Once again, the Eagles are off to a fast start with a 35 to nothing win. This week, they are at home for the first time at Laguna Hills. Until then, I'm Paul Higgins. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.